Holy Wire Mod. Holy Wire Mod here, and this is going to be tutorial 7 in the Lewis series, where we're going to be covering how to prevent friendly fire, as well as how to do it on sweeps as well, which is why I saved this topic for after sweeps. So let's start by defining a function. And we are going to look at player should take damage. Now, player should take damage has two separate arguments here. The first one's going to be player of type player, and the next one's going to be attacker, but this one's of type entity. If we actually look in the um, the Gmod wiki page right here, it says player and entity right here. So that's very important, and I'm going to get to that in just one second. So let us go to attacker, and the first thing we're going to need to do here I mean, you'd think it might be just as simple as saying, okay, well, if the player's team, or the team of the player who is getting attacked is equal to the attacker's team, then we would return false, meaning that there will not be any damage applied. However, it's not that simple, and otherwise we'd be returning true right here. But like I said, it's not that simple. Because, okay, what if you have an actual weapon that is dealing the damage because remember attacker is an entity it's not a player so if the player is holding a weapon like one of the custom swept that we met made right here it would show that the revolver killed the player or the vamp crowbar that we made in the last tutorial killed the player it's not going to show the actual attacker holding the weapon killing the player so we need to identify that attacker and to do that we can set a local variable called att stand for attacker for short and we're going to define, okay, what is the actual attacker? So if the attacker is a player, then we'll say that the AT ATT is the attacker or the player, because the player can be an entity. So else if, if the attacker, okay, what if the attacker is an NPC or something? Then, this is interesting because we can actually turn on and off NPC damage with this function right here. So let's say we don't want NPCs to do damage, then we put false. If we do want them to do damage, we put true. Okay, so else, and that's for all other instances, if the attacker is neither a player or an NPC, we can assume that it's a swep or a weapon, and we'll say that the attacker or the ATT is going to be whatever the attacker owner is or whatever the owner of the weapon that is attacking the player is okay so hope that makes sense to you so now instead of putting attacker here we'll put ATT okay and what this is going to do is it's going to say okay a weapon was fired at a player for example if it was the revolver Remember, the revolver, it shoots a bullet, and that's kind of an in-game mechanic here, and that will be registered by the player should take damage. However, however, in the case that we use a vamp crowbar, we use a different method here. Instead of dealing direct damage through an in-game mechanic like the bullet does, the vamp crowbar actually takes the player's health, the entity or the victim's health, and subtracts it by 25 so that is not going to trigger player should take damage so to give you an example of this let's go in game really quick all right so we're in game right now I'm gonna spawn a bot or two so I can show you what we mean so remember you type bot and the um, console right here and I'll spawn a couple bots we have three you can tell that I'm on the blue team by my gun Right here so watch when I shoot red it kills the person just fine now here's the blue team right here I shoot them and this function right here is triggering and it's returning false because I'm getting the owner of the magnum and that's set to attacker the team's match this condition is met so thus we deal no damage with the return false otherwise like that red team we return true all right so let's go back in game and i'm going to show you what happens when we use the crowbar so look we have a blue member and notice it dealt damage to him even though we're on the same team whereas if i go to red it still deals damage and that's exactly what i mean by this 
simply subtracting the health instead of using this method to actually deal damage. All right, so we can actually fix this simply by doing a team check in here. All right, so I mean, yes, yes, you could also theoretically say, okay, if um, taking this right here, if player team equals attack team uh, return false or don't deal any damage or return, in this case, it would be to return false. But the problem with that is you have to turn your lag compensation off in addition. And so you're adding extra lines where you don't really need to. So instead, I recommend preventing it right here in this line where the damage is actually dealt. So you would say, okay, so if it's a valid entity and one of these conditions are met, and on top of this, and if you're lost, I do recommend checking out the last tutorial, but and if int team does not equal player, because remember player, we define player right here is the owner of the weapon, player team, then do all this. All right, so we're gonna save that and let's go in game. You don't have to restart the server to notice the changes, but okay, so I'm on the blue team, remember? And it deals damage to red. Here's a blue team member. And it doesn't let me swing or deal any damage to this blue member. So the friendly fire function works. And that's going to cover what you pretty much need to know. Um, not many people actually tell you that about SWEP, so I thought I'd add that in. If you guys have any more questions about this topic or have any more ideas of topics that you'd like to see in the series, please let me, let me know. And I will catch you next time.